Health inequality kills. And one way to think of health inequality is as a distribution problem. You have these clusters of expertise, but a wide distribution of need. Let's take malaria, for example. The laboratories that can accurately identify malaria are mostly located in urban areas, whereas the people at risk of contracting malaria are distributed much more widely. Poorer people are also less likely to access any kind of health care, even if they're located right next to it. So in order to reduce health inequality, you need to connect the expertise to the need. Now, antigen-based rapid diagnostic tests, or RDTs, have come a long way to connect the expertise to the need in an affordable way, but they still have their problems. For one, they continuously need to be imported and transported to where they are needed because they're consumable. And they don't always do so well in high humidity and high temperature conditions, which of course perfectly predicts most malaria endemic regions. So what if there was an intelligent device that could accurately detect malaria? A device that could connect the expertise to the need in an affordable way. We have just filed a provisional patent for a rapid, affordable and non-invasive device that can accurately detect malaria. The device uses sensitive skin color measurements in the palm of the hand, coupled with artificial intelligence, to accurately predict whether someone has malaria or not in a few seconds. All you need to do is walk up to the person and touch their hand with the device, and it will tell you whether this person has malaria or not. We tested this device in a large group of Nigerian children, and the accuracy was between 73 and 77 percent, with a sensitivity of 94 to 95 percent, which means that we can be very confident that we're accurately identifying the individuals that have malaria, which is, of course, very important for such a deadly disease. We're currently busy testing this device in a second population, and we're asking any potential funders, industry partners, or collaborators that want to be part of the study to please contact us, because we want to expand the testing to as many populations as possible. The added benefit is just like human beings, artificial intelligence systems tend to increase in accuracy as they get more information to train on. So the more, the more data we have to work with, the higher the accuracy will likely become. Now, the potential uses for such a device are vast. Because it's so easy to use, you can train almost anyone to use the device. And because there's no consumables, you don't continuously need to import and transport these consumables to where they are needed. Once you have the device, you can literally screen as many people as you want without any additional costs. So the true beauty about this device is that it can decentralize diagnostic expertise taking the expertise to the doorsteps of the people that need it without putting a substantial cost on the health system. You can screen an entire population, identifying both symptomatic and non-symptomatic individuals, thereby reducing the reservoir. And the added benefit is that you can connect experts to a network of up-to-date malaria infection data, enabling them to respond quicker to potential outbreaks and possible re-emergence. So the take-home message is, we developed a rapid, affordable, and non-invasive device that can accurately detect malaria. A device that reduces health inequality by connecting the expertise to the need in an affordable way, and taking us one step closer to a world free of malaria. Thank you very much, Dr. Vinay Curti.